continuation with our discussion on the different OMM techniques, we're going to be talking about HVLA. What does HVLA stand for? It stands for High Velocity Low Amplitude. And this is simply describing the technique that we're going to be using upon the patient. So uh, it is going to incorporate a passive technique, meaning it's passive for the patient. The patient's just going to relax. It's going to be the physician, the physician doing all of the work. Uh, and then the direct technique uh, stands for that it's going to be going into the restrictive barrier. Indirect means we're going away from the restrictive barrier. If I'm restricted turning my head to the left for HBLA technique, I'll go into the restricted barrier and then give a little, uh, give a little uh, movement for the articulation. So HBLA is going to be a passive technique and a direct technique. So the mechanism behind it, uh, mechanism is a little uh, harder to understand um, and thus we don't quite know it yet. Uh, there are some theories out there, the resetting as you move through the restrictive barrier, some afferents and the efferents thus are affected. Um, really, it's not going to be a testable question to totally. Uh, you might see it, but really it's not going to be fair because we don't know the exact mechanism. So let's quickly go through the general steps of HBLA. Incorporating Freud's third principle, Freud's third principle states that when you, uh, when you rotate, side bend, or flex and extend uh, the head or any joint, the motion in the other two will uh, decrease. So if I flex the head, rotation and side bending are thus limited. So movement in one of those three directions will thus limit the motion in the others. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking, uh, you're going to be finding a restriction to begin with. So you're going to palpate and you're going to use static and dynamic motion testing to find a restriction. Uh, then you're going to place the body into, the, into uh, the restrictive motion. So if I'm restricted to the left and head rotation, I would rotate the head to the left, for example, um, and then I would ask the patient to relax. This is where the HVLA comes into play. High velocity meaning you're doing a quick motion, but low amplitude meaning that motion is going to be very well controlled. We're not going to be cranking their head very far. We're going to use a high speed thrust, but it will be a very small, uh, small range thrust. Uh, and then if you do the technique correctly with the patient relaxed, meaning it's a passive technique, you may hear an articulation, uh, and that can indicate that the treatment worked, and then you're going to recheck. So that's the very basics of HBLA.